Yes, men don't bleed like us, but they get their man period or menstruation. Welcome to Explain, the show where we delve into intriguing topics to shed light on the unknown. When we hear the word periods, we typically associate it with menstruation, a process unique to individuals with uteruses. Every woman is aware of how challenging her time of month can be. But many women are unaware that guys can also go through hormonal shifts. Men won't bleed or have all the symptoms that women have, but these hormonal changes can have some very noticeable side effects, particularly in terms of mood and irritability. Some call it the man period, others call it irritable male syndrome. Either way, it can be quite similar to a woman's PMS. Here's a little more insight into the man period and a few facts that can help you gain a better understanding of what it entails. IMS, irritable male syndrome, is a term coined by psychotherapist Jeff Diamond. We often tend to forget that hormones are not limited to women and so neither are unprecedented hormonal imbalances. Irritable male syndrome can be defined as a state of hypersensitivity, frustration, anxiety and anger that occurs in males and is associated with biochemical changes, hormonal fluctuations, stress. So, if men don't actually menstruate, why do some people use the term man period? Well, it could be a way to acknowledge that men also face emotional and physical challenges influenced by hormones. But it's crucial to avoid trivializing or minimizing the experiences of individuals who menstruate. Males do not have monthly ovulation or release of eggs from their genital glands as females do, while men generate sperm and testosterone year-round. An unregulated process, women's monthly cycle is highly controlled by hormones. Nonetheless, some scientists believe that the regulation of male hormones is seasonal. Men are more sexual, for instance, during the spring and summer when the libido and testosterone levels are higher. Male testosterone levels rise in the morning and gradually decrease during the day, with little bursts caused by increases in physical activity in addition to seasonal hormonal fluctuations. The testosterone levels in men deteriorate as they grow older. Some doctors believe that about 40% of men above the age of 45 have testosterone levels below the normal. This can be linked to ailments like high blood pressure and diabetes. This term for this mid-age hormonal crisis for men is known as andropause, also called male menopause. Symptoms of low testosterone levels are like those experienced by women when estrogen or progesterone levels decline. They are reduced energy, depression, poor motivation, poor concentration, irritability, impaired memory, decreased libido, fatigue, mood changes. It's important to recognize these indicators in males around you and not interpret them as simply indicating that they are becoming grumpy old men. Bad days that cause crabby attitudes are one thing, persistent emotional or physical symptoms are something entirely different and they are a possible indication that you should see your doctor. Some of these symptoms may be the result of testosterone deficiency. Testosterone levels do naturally fluctuate, but the levels that are too low can cause problems. Discuss your worries with your doctors and have a conversation with him. If you believe your partner shows signs of severe hormonal changes or low testosterone, one of the best ways to help him is to have a conversation. Then some small adjustments to the diet, stress relieving tips, hormonal drugs prescribed by the doctor. It is critical that we acknowledge the frustrating influence of hormones in our life and provide it with the consideration it requires. Ultimately, whether you believe in the concept of man period or not, it is essential to recognize that everyone experiences hormonal fluctuations differently. Let's move away from gendered stereotypes and focus on supporting each other's well-being regardless of gender.